A good night of Shabbos, everyone. Er Shabbos, Pashas Korach. Dramatic Pasha. Dramatic beginning. Moshe Benu is confronted by Korach, who wants to destroy really the entire Jewish people. He wants to destroy the very foundation and the fabric of the Jewish people. And take away the leadership of Torah. Question the whole the whole concept of Misora. Moshe Benu has to put down the rebellion. Turns to Korach and he says to him, Rav Lechem Bnei Levi, it's enough for you. What you're asking for is too much. You've already received. You, you're already levium. You've already gotten something. You already have a chilek in the avodah. It's Rav Lechem Bnei Levi. There were those mefarshim that want to learn that the, the the origins of Korach were beautiful. The Korach just wanted to have a bigger chilek in avodah Hashem. But that, unfortunately, he let his personality get involved. And he let his own ego get involved. And that destroyed everything. But at the very beginning, he was just looking to rise, to get a closer portion and to be able to serve God. Moshe Benin turns to him and says, It's enough for you, children of Levi. The Gemara says on those words, a principle called Rabbi Sir, Rabbi Sru, a principle that that the way that a person acts, that's the way that a Kodesh Baruch Hu acts to that person, measure for measure. The Moshe Rabbeinu, one of the examples that it brings Moshe Rabbeinu, Rav Biser, that he spoke to, put down Korach with the word Rav, Rav Lechem Bnei Levi, it's enough for you, children of Levi. Moshe Rabbeinu, when he daven 515 times to be let into the land of Israel, God put him down with the same words. Rav Lechal Taisif, it's enough. Don't daven one more time. First of all, it implies that Moshe Rabbeinu did something wrong. He had to put down a rebellion. What did he do wrong? What was the problem? Karach was what was despicable. What was Moshe Benin supposed to say to him? Let's go for coffee tomorrow morning and talk about it. He had to put it down. Rav Lechem and Levi, it's enough. Stop, stop. And that Moshe Benin had to get it in the neck for that. That that he got it the same way. Rav Lechal Tosef. What was the similarity between what Moshe Benin was doing to Karach and what God did to Moshe Benin? What's going on here in this Gemara? Where's the Mida Kenegim Mida? Where's the Chet? Where's the sin? So I think we have to understand that what was Moshe Rabbeinu looking for to go into the land of Israel? He was looking to be able to do the mitzvah of Baritz. He was looking to have to do the mitzvahs that could only be done in the land of Israel. He was looking to have a greater portion, a greater section, a greater piece of the service of God. And that's ultimately what Karach wanted. Moshe Rabbeinu for sure had to put down a rebellion but don't ever say those words. It's enough for you. You've gone high enough. You've strived far enough. You could say to somebody, you're doing it wrong. You're, you're going about it in the wrong kind of way. But it's never enough. There's always a step higher that we can go. There's always more that we can achieve. There's always greater that we can accomplish. The way the Moshe Rabbeinu dealt with Karach, by putting him down, by saying to him, you've gone high enough, that's what a Kodesh Baruch Hu needed Moshe Benin to feel, to understand. Rav Lechal Taisif. It's enough. Not that you've said it enough times. You've climbed enough. This is your ceiling. You can't go any higher than this. And those are the most devastating words that a person can hear. You've gone far enough. You've accomplished enough. They're devastating when somebody on the outside says them to, to, our, to us. But they're even more devastating when they say that to ourselves. When we say, Rav Lechem, you know, we've come pretty far. We're pretty good. We're better than we used to be. Better than we used to be is not always enough. I'm not ready to go further. I need to consider how to go further. Those are all legitimate, legitimate things. But that I've gone enough Rav Lechal you've climbed high enough, there's no reason to climb any further. That's not okay. To put a ceiling and a cap on who we could be and what we could accomplish, that we never want to hear from anyone. Not from others, not from ourselves, and certainly not from our Kodesh Baruch Hu. And that's why the Gemara says, the way a person acts, he gets it back in the neck. And then Moshe Rabbeinu got it back in the neck. Put down a rebellion, Moshe, but don't stop people from growing because we can always grow further. We can always do that one little bit more. We can always achieve incredible godless 
incredible greatness with the potentials that God has given us. Have a wonderful, amazing, awesome, fabulous Shabbos.